Lipopolysaccharide, Wikipedia Audio Lipopolysaccharides, also known as lipoglycans and endotoxins, are large molecules consisting of a lipid and a polysaccharide composed of O-antigen, outer core and inner core joined by a covalent bond, they are found in the outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria. The term lipooligosaccharide is used to refer to a low molecular weight form of bacterial lipopolysaccharides. The toxic activity of LPS was first discovered and termed endotoxin by Richard Friedrich Johannes Pfeiffer, who distinguished between exotoxins, which he classified as a toxin that is released by bacteria into the surrounding environment, and endotoxins which he considered to be a toxin kept within the bacterial cell and released only after destruction of the bacterial cell wall, 84 subsequent work showed that release of LPS from gram-negative microbes does not necessarily require the destruction of the bacterial cell wall, but rather, LPS is secreted as part of the normal physiological activity of membrane vesicle trafficking in the form of bacterial outer membrane vesicles, which may also contain other virulence factors and proteins. Discovery Today, the term endotoxin is mostly used synonymously with LPS, although there are a few endotoxins that are not related to LPS such as the so-called delta endotoxin proteins secreted by Bacillus thuringiensis. LPS is the major component of the outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria, contributing greatly to the structural integrity of the bacteria, and protecting the membrane from certain kinds of chemical attack. LPS also increases the negative charge of the cell membrane and helps stabilize the overall membrane structure. It is of crucial importance to many gram-negative bacteria, which die if it is mutated or removed, however, it appears that LPS is non-essential in at least some gram-negative bacteria, such as Neisseria meningitidis, Moraxella catarralis, and Acinetobacter baumannii. LPS induces a strong response from normal animal immune systems. It has also been implicated in non-pathogenic aspects of bacterial ecology, including surface adhesion, bacteriophage sensitivity, and interactions with predators such as amoebae. LPS is required for the proper conformation of omptin activity, however. Smooth LPS will sterically hinder omptins. It comprises three parts. A repetitive glycan polymer contained within an LPS is referred to as the O-antigen, O-polysaccharide, or O-side chain of the bacteria. The O-antigen is attached to the core oligosaccharide, and comprises the outermost domain of the LPS molecule. The composition of the O-chain varies from strain to strain. For example, there are over 160 different O-antigen structures produced by different E. coli strains. The presence or absence of O-chains determines whether the LPS is considered rough or smooth. Full-length O-chains would render the LPS smooth, whereas the absence or reduction of O-chains would make the LPS rough. Bacteria with rough LPS usually have more penetrable cell membranes to hydrophobic antibiotics, since a rough LPS is more hydrophobic. O-antigen is exposed on the very outer surface of the bacterial cell, and, as a consequence, is a target for recognition by host antibodies. The core domain always contains an oligosaccharide component that attaches directly to lipid A and commonly contains sugars such as heptose and 3 deoxy d manooct 2 ulosonic acid. The LPS cores of many bacteria also contain non-carbohydrate components, such as phosphate, amino acids, and ethanolamine substituents. Lipid A is in normal circumstances, 
a phosphorylated glucosamine disaccharide decorated with multiple fatty acids. These hydrophobic fatty acid chains anchor the LPS into the bacterial membrane, and the rest of the LPS projects from the cell surface. The lipid A domain is responsible for much of the toxicity of gram-negative bacteria. When bacterial cells are lysed by the immune system, fragments of membrane containing lipid A are released into the circulation, causing fever, diarrhea, and possible fatal endotoxic shock. The lipid A moiety is a very conserved component of the LPS. Lipooligosaccharides are glycolipids found in the outer membrane of some types of gram-negative bacteria, such as Neisseria species and Haemophilus spp. The term is synonymous with the low molecular weight form of bacterial LPS. LOS plays a central role in maintaining the integrity and functionality of the outer membrane of the gram-negative cell envelope. Lipooligosaccharides play an important role in the pathogenesis of certain bacterial infections because they are capable of acting as immunostimulators and immunomodulators. Furthermore, LOS molecules are responsible for the ability of some bacterial strains to display molecular mimicry and antigenic diversity, aiding in the evasion of host immune defenses and thus contributing to the virulence of these bacterial strains. Chemically, lipooligosaccharides lack O antigens and possess only a lipid A based outer membrane anchoring moiety, and an oligosaccharide core. In the case of Neisseria meningitidis, the lipid A portion of the molecule has a symmetrical structure and the inner core is composed of 3 deoxy D mano 2 octalosonic acid and heptose moieties. The outer core oligosaccharide chain varies depending on the bacterial strain. The term lipooligosaccharide is used to refer to the low molecular weight form of bacterial lipopolysaccharides, which can be categorized into two forms, the high molecular weight form possesses a high molecular weight, repeating polysaccharide O chain, while the low molecular weight form lacks the O-chain but possesses a short oligosaccharide in its place. Functions in bacteria The making of LPS can be modified in order to present a specific sugar structure. Those can be recognized by either other LPS or glycosyl transferases that use those sugar structure to add more specific sugars. It has recently been shown that a specific enzyme in the intestine can detoxify LPS by removing the two phosphate groups found on LPS carbohydrates. This may function as an adaptive mechanism to help the host manage potentially toxic effects of gram-negative bacteria normally found in the small intestine. A different enzyme may detoxify LPS when it enters, or is produced in, animal tissues. Neutrophils, macrophages, and dendritic cells produce a lipase, acyloxyacylhydrolase, that inactivates LPS by removing the two secondary acyl chains from lipid A. If they are given LPS parenterally, mice that lack AOAH develop high titers of nonspecific antibodies, develop prolonged hepatomegaly, and experience prolonged endotoxin tolerance. LPS inactivation may be required for animals to restore homeostasis after parenteral LPS exposure. LPS acts as the prototypical endotoxin because it binds the CD14-TLR4-MD2 receptor complex in many cell types but especially in monocytes, dendritic cells, macrophages, and B cells, which promotes the secretion of pro-inflammatory cytokines, nitric oxide, and eicosanoids. As part of the cellular stress response, superoxide is one of the major reactive oxygen species induced by LPS in various cell types that express TLR. LPS is also an exogenous pyrogen. 
Being of crucial importance to gram-negative bacteria, these molecules make candidate targets for new antimicrobial agents. Some researchers doubt reports of generalized toxic effects attributed to all lipopolysaccharides, in particular, for cyanobacteria. LPS function has been under experimental research for several years due to its role in activating many transcription factors. LPS also produces many types of mediators involved in septic shock. Humans are much more sensitive to LPS than other animals. A dose of 1 g kg induces shock in humans, but mice will tolerate a dose up to a thousand times higher. This may relate to differences in the level of circulating natural antibodies between the two species. Said ETAL showed that LPS causes an IL-10 dependent inhibition of CD4 T cell expansion and function by upregulating PD-1 levels on monocytes which leads to IL-10 production by monocytes after binding of PD-1 by PD-L1. Composition O antigen Endotoxins are in large part responsible for the dramatic clinical manifestations of infections with pathogenic gram-negative bacteria, such as Neisseria meningitidis, the pathogens that causes meningococcal disease, including meningococcemia, waterhouse frit erickson syndrome, and meningitis. Core Lipid A Lipooligosaccharides LPS modifications Biosynthesis and transport Bruce Beutler was awarded a portion of the 2011 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his work demonstrating that TLR4 is the LPS receptor. Portions of the LPS from several bacterial strains have been shown to be chemically similar to human host cell surface molecules the ability of some bacteria to present molecules on their surface which are chemically identical or similar to the surface molecules of some types of host cells is termed molecular mimicry. For example, in Neisseria meningitidis L2,3,5,7,9, the terminal tetrasaccharide portion of the oligosaccharide is the same tetrasaccharide as that found in paraglobocide a precursor for ABH glycolipid antigens found on human erythrocytes. In another example, the terminal trisaccharide portion of the oligosaccharide from pathogenic Neisseria spp. Lose is also found in lactoneoseries glycosphingolipids from human cells. Most meningococci from groups B and C, as well as gonococci, have been shown to have this trisaccharide as part of their low structure. The presence of these human cell surface mimics may, in addition to acting as a camouflage from the immune system, play a role in the abolishment of immune tolerance when infecting hosts with certain human leukocyte antigen genotypes, such as HLA-B35. Recently, a new study published has discovered that LPS can be sensed directly by hematopoietic stem cells through the bonding with TLR4, causing them to proliferate in reaction to a systemic infection. This response activate the TLR4 TRIFROSP38 signaling within the HSCs and through a sustained TLR4 activation can cause a proliferative stress leading to impair their competitive repopulating ability. Infection in mice using S. tifimurium showed similar results, validating the experimental model also in vivo. Biological effects on hosts infected with gram-negative bacteria O antigens are the most variable portion of the LPS molecule, imparting the antigenic specificity. In contrast, Lipid A is the most conserved part. However, lipid A composition also may vary. Some of these variations may impart antagonistic properties to these LPS. 
For example, Rhodobacter sphaeroides diphosphoryl lipid A is a potent antagonist of LPS in human cells, but is an agonist in hamster and equine cells. It has been speculated that conical lipid A are more agonistic, less conical lipid A like those of Porphyromatus gingivalis may activate a different signal, and completely cylindrical lipid A like that of Rhodobacter sphaeroides is antagonistic to TLRs. LPS gene clusters are highly variable between different strains, subspecies, species of bacterial pathogens of plants and animals. Normal human blood serum contains antilose antibodies that are bactericidal and patients that have infections caused by serotypically distinct strains possess antilose antibodies that differ in their specificity compared with normal serum. These differences in humoral immune response to different LOS types can be attributed to the structure of the LOS molecule, primarily within the structure of the oligosaccharide portion of the LOS molecule. In Neisseria gonorrhoeae it has been demonstrated that the antigenicity of LOS molecules can change during an infection due to the ability of these bacteria to synthesize more than one type of LOS a characteristic known as phase variation. Additionally, Neisseria gonorrhoeae, as well as Neisseria meningitidis and Haemophilus influenza, are capable of further modifying their LOS in vitro, for example through silylation, and as a result are able to increase their resistance to complement mediated killing or even downregulate complement activation or evade the effects of bactericidal antibodies. Sialylation may also contribute to hindered neutrophil attachment and phagocytosis by immune system cells as well as a reduced oxidative burst. Haemophilus somnus, a pathogen of cattle, has also been shown to display loss phase variation, a characteristic which may help in the evasion of bovine host immune defenses. Taken together, these observations suggest that variations in bacterial surface molecules such as LOS can help the pathogen evade both the humoral and the cell-mediated host immune defenses. The presence of endotoxins in the blood is called endotoxemia. It can lead to septic shock, if the immune response is severely pronounced. Moreover, endotoxemia of intestinal origin especially, at the host pathogen interface, is considered to be an important factor in the development of alcoholic hepatitis, which is likely to develop on the basis of the small bowel bacterial overgrowth syndrome and an increased intestinal permeability. Lipid A may cause uncontrolled activation of mammalian immune systems with production of inflammatory mediators that may lead to septic shock. This inflammatory reaction is mediated by toll-like receptor 4 which is responsible for immune system cell activation. Damage to the endothelial layer of blood vessels caused by these inflammatory mediators can lead to capillary leak syndrome, dilation of blood vessels and a decrease in cardiac function and can lead to septic shock. Pronounced complement activation can also be observed later in the course as the bacteria multiply in the blood. High bacterial proliferation triggering destructive endothelial damage can also lead to disseminated intravascular coagulation with loss of function of certain internal organs such as the kidneys, adrenal glands, and lungs due to compromised blood supply. The skin can show the effects of vascular damage often coupled with depletion of coagulation factors in the form of petechiae, purpura, and ecchymosis. The limbs can also be affected, sometimes with devastating consequences such as the development of gangrene, requiring subsequent amputation. Loss of function of the adrenal glands can cause adrenal insufficiency and additional hemorrhage into the adrenals causes Waterhouse Friedrichsen syndrome, both of which can be life-threatening. It has also been reported that gonococcal loss can cause damage to human fallopian tubes. 
Immune response The molecular mimicry of some loss molecules is thought to cause autoimmune-based host responses, such as flare-ups of multiple sclerosis. Other examples of bacterial mimicry of host structures via LOS are found with the bacteria Helicobacter pylori and Campylobacter jejuni, organisms which cause gastrointestinal disease in humans, and Haemophilus ducarii which causes chancroid. Certain C. jejuni LPS serotypes have also been implicated with Guillain-Barre syndrome and a variant of Guillain-Barre called Miller-Fisher syndrome. Epidemiological studies have previously shown that increased endotoxin load, which can be a result of increased populations of endotoxin-producing bacteria in the intestinal tract, is associated with certain obesity-related patient groups. Other studies have shown that purified endotoxin from Escherichia coli can induce obesity and insulin resistance when injected into germ-free mouse models. A more recent study has uncovered a potentially contributing role for Enterobacter cloacae B29 toward obesity and insulin resistance in a human patient. The presumed mechanism for the association of endotoxin with obesity is that endotoxin induces an inflammation-mediated pathway accounting for the observed obesity and insulin resistance. There is a correlation between plasma LPS and insulin resistance. Effect of variability on immune response Bacterial genera associated with endotoxin-related obesity effects, Escherichia, Enterobacter. Lipopolysaccharides are frequent contaminants in plasmid DNA prepared from bacteria or proteins expressed from bacteria and must be removed from the DNA or protein to avoid contaminating experiments and to avoid toxicity of products manufactured using industrial fermentation. Health Effects Endotoxemia Autoimmune Disease Also, ovalbumin is frequently contaminated with endotoxins. Ovalbumin is one of the extensively studied proteins in animal models and also an established model allergen for airway hyper-responsiveness. Commercially available ovalbumin that is contaminated with LPS can fully activate endothelial cells in an in vitro assay of the first step of inflammation, and it falsifies research results as it does not accurately reflect the effect of sole protein antigen on animal physiology. In pharmaceutical production, it is necessary to remove all traces of endotoxin from drug product containers, as even small amounts of endotoxin will cause illness in humans. A depyrogenation oven is used for this purpose. Temperatures in excess of 300 degrees Celsius are required to break down this substance. A defined endotoxin reduction rate is a correlation between time and temperature. Based on primary packaging material as syringes or vials, a glass temperature of 250 degrees Celsius and a holding time of 30 minutes is typical to achieve a reduction of endotoxin levels by a factor of 1000. The standard assay for detecting presence of endotoxin is the Limulus amoebocyte lysate assay, utilizing blood from the horseshoe crab. Very low levels of LPS can cause coagulation of the limulus lysate due to a powerful amplification through an enzymatic cascade. However, due to the dwindling population of horseshoe crabs, and the fact that there are factors that interfere with the LAL assay, efforts have been made to develop alternative assays with the most promising ones being ELISA tests using a recombinant version of a protein in the LAL assay, factor C. Link to obesity Laboratory research and biotechnology production systems <laughs>